The Lord be with you. Please join me for prayer. Almighty God, in you are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Open our eyes that we may see the wonders of your word and give us grace that we may clearly understand and freely choose the way of your wisdom through Christ our Lord. All God's people say, Amen. Today is Mandela Day. The United Nations has encouraged people around the world to spare 67 minutes for uh, the service. One minute for every year of Mr. Mandela's public service by devoting 67 minutes of their time, people can make a small gesture of solidarity with humanity and a step towards global movement for good. Oops. Nelson Mandela's extraordinary compassion after 27 years in the present shows that human right and equality are stronger than discrimination and hate. When Mandela walked out to out of jail, he says, as I walk out the door toward the gate that will lead me to my freedom, I knew if I didn't leave my bitterness and hatred behind. I'd still be in present. Mandela let go of his anger and forgave the people put him in the jail. He had the reason and right to be angry, bitter, and vengeful. Instead, that present refining his character to embody the one trait what would define him to the world and change his country. The one thing was forgiveness. I had a nice opportunity to visit Holland, Michigan last month. I fully enjoyed the scenery on Lake Mich Michigan. There were many trees around the lake. Some of them were bending one direction. Do you think the bending tree is caused by one huge wind or many little wind blows? Most trees are shaped by the countless gentler wind blows, but sometimes one huge wind could shape it as well. Forgiveness is a gift but also a lesson that we practice countless in our lifetime. I receive forgiveness from God and others every day, and I learn to forgive, but I struggle sometimes. The expert research shows a conclusion that a person easier to forgive others and forgive themselves has less blood heart disease and higher immune system. They also have better relationship with others and their families, friends. They could focus better and they have better ability to solve the problem. There are many advantages. No wonder God loves us. He wants us to forgive. It is meaningful to see what the Lord do for us, not stop at what he has done for us on the cross, but also what he has modeled for us. He forgives. Let's turn our heart to the word of God.
Matthew chapter 21, um, chapter 18, 21 to 35. The parable of unmerciful servant. Peter come to Jesus and ask, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother and sister who sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but 77 times. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven is like a king who wants to settle account with his servants. As he began, began to settlement, a man who owed him 10,000 bags of gold was brought to him. Since he was not able to pay, the master ordered that he and his wife and his children and all he had to be sold to repay the debt. At this, the servant fell on his knees before him. Be patient with me, he begged, and I will pay back everything. The servant's master took pity on him, canceled the debt, and let him go. But when the servant went out, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred silver coins. He grabbed him and began to choke him. Pay back what you owe me, he demanded. His fellow servant fell to his knees and begged him, be patient with me, I will pay it back. But he refused. Instead, he went off and had the man thrown into present until he could pay the debt. When the other servants saw that had happened, they were outraged and went to told their master everything that had happened. Then the master called the servant in. You wicked servant, he said. I cancel all the debt of yours because you begged me to. Shouldn't you have had mercy to your fellow servant, just as I had on you? In anger, his master handed him over to the jailer to be tortured until he should pay back all he owes. This is how our Heavenly Father will treat each of us unless you forgive your brother and sister from your heart. This is the word of the Lord. Be to God. It is so important that we know that God requires us to forgive. To forgive is one of the core teachings of the gospel, as well as one of the most challenging. It doesn't matter who you are or where you grew up, it doesn't matter how many years you have attended church. Forgiveness is so difficult because it's contrary to our human nature. What is forgiveness? Oh, wrong slide. Forgiveness is giving up resentment against someone and our right to get even, no matter what has been done to us. It is surrendering our right to get to right to hurt others back. I don't know you, I don't know about you, but for me, anger sometimes can consume me and my day like no others. Can you get rid of anger by replace to a destination of somewhere? In order to get rid of that anger, something has to happen inside of you. The power of Holy Spirit will change our life 
Even more than that, he will set us free. Many people angry, they know it. Many people angry, don't know it. Forgiving isn't always easy. And it doesn't come instantaneously. To forgive is very hard, especially when we are hurt, we are deeply hurt. C.S. Lewis wrote in my prayer last week, I found that, at least I thought I found that, I can certainly forgive a person I have been work hard trying to forgive, but can't for 30 years. We must admit that forgiveness is not easy lesson. According to the study today, 80% of Americans express angry, anger, aggression, and road rage behind the wheel at least once in the past year. We get mad when someone cut into in front of us in line, or a friend betray me, or spouse not being faithful, or teenagers ungrateful, or parents keep on nagging, or different ideologies and political views and fight between Christian, Jews, and Muslim. The news kept reporting incident of gun violence and suicide bombing, and a couple days ago, truck attack in France. Our hearts are crushed when we hear those tragic incident and murders. The hatred is so deep. After all, we live in a world that full of wrongdoing each other. It is not only between person to person, it's also between races, between nation. Today I want to announce this good news. God forgive us first. Jesus Christ is our good news. Forgiveness is God's requirement for his beloved children. Through God's grace, we all have ability to achieve it. It is a mystery. In the text today, Peter asks Jesus, how about I forgive my brother seven times? Isn't that plenty? The real best teaching is three times. How about I do better than that? But Jesus answered, it's 70 times seven. There is no bottom line. The limits should not be placed on forgiveness. After Jesus constructs his disciple to forgive unlimitedly, Jesus used the following parable to drive the point home. One guy owes a huge amount of money. It is 10,000 bags of gold. In Greek, 10,000 talents. A talent was worth about 20 years of day labor's wage. This servant was entrusted with a huge amount of money, and he lost it all. He maybe made a poor investment decision. Maybe he gambled it all away. We don't know how, but he owes a huge debt. The master asked him to return the debt. He begged the Lord, be patient, and I will pay you back. But the Lord forgives him. Not much later, this guy went out and see his fellow servant who owe him a hundred silver coins, small amount of money. In Greek, a hundred denarii. A denarii was a usually daily wage of a day labor. He has no money to pay. This guy got very angry and put him in the jail. Someone told the Lord, that makes the Lord 
angry. So he put him in the jail, punished him until he returned all the debt. Jesus said that what happened to this guy will happen to you unless we learn to forgive. Otherwise, we will suffer and we lost our um, freedom. Unforgiveness, like a torturer, it eats us from inside out through anger and bitterness. Torturers cause our physical pain and illness, stomach ulcer, and high blood pressure, headache, and backache. The torturer will let us make us sleepless in bed, play the same episodes, the bad thing has happened to us repeatedly. Unforgiveness become a hidden, hidden torturer that block our way day and night, company us like shadow, suck out every single joy that you have in your life. Unforgiveness is a, is a destroyer, slaver. Unforgiveness spirit stop us to inherit the blessings that God wish us for. God is angry because our unforgiveness. It is poison, it is form of slavery. We like unforgiven servant stand in front of God and bring our sin piling like mountain, the mountain of sin. Our sin like 10,000 bags of gold. We can't repay our debt in our lifetime or 10 lifetime. We forgive because we too make mistakes and hurt others. God freely forgive us. And by so doing, liberates us to forgive the person who caused us suffering. We forgive because God desired that we have life abundant. Len is a new friend I made last month in General Senate. Len and her husband, Peter, both are PKs, um, pastor's kids, and second generation Korean, uh, Korean American. They will be ordained soon as RCM minister. Lynn gave me the permission to share her story. He wrote, it was after I gave birth to a lifeless but beautiful baby boy, Gideon, seven years later. I have three kids, my pride and joy and a husband who has been through several trips to hell and back with me. Life seems to have taken me on a trip of losses and gains, one after another one, and not all, gain, all lost were bad, not all gains were good. It has been a beautiful wave of pain, sorrow, joy, and peace growth. I still raise my fist at God sometimes. It is no joking intense. Sometimes you pray and God still sticks you in the fiery furnace. Len was very angry at God and people around her. She can no longer live in such awful bitterness every day. She prayed. And one day she decides that practice to forgive God and forgive others and forgive herself. She later shared this. I'm a little better at living with the mystery of it all. I'm a bit better at this love thing. 
actually, I'm so much better at the love thing. And I'm uber grateful. So my heart still will choose to say, Lord, blessed be your name. I would like you to see this cute family. Yeah? Daddy finger, daddy finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Mommy finger, <laughs> mommy finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Brother finger, brother finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, oh do do do. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Sister finger, sister finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Baby finger, baby finger, where are you? Alright, Leah, it's your turn. She's not. Why isn't she singing? Why is she not singing? Why is she not singing? Okay. Yay! Yeah. Oh, she's singing. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> there she is. Yay! Yeah. One, two more times. Daddy finger, oh. daddy finger. Two more times. We don't need to hear that. Along with this video, he wrote a letter to his kids, um, her kids, that, Dear kiddos, please take time growing up. Thank you for forgiving mommy again and again, as I fail to be present with you these days. You've never held a grouch against me when I yelled at you out of my pent-up stress stressed from the day. You've modeled resilience for me as you love me, as if I have never disappointed you, as if I never hurt you. You've helped, you have helped mommy feel so much joy and love. Thank you, babies, for being patient with mommy. Today is Mandala International Day. Can you spare 60, that's tomorrow, sorry. Can you spare 67 minutes of your time to help others? And also we reflect on Mandala's example and ourselves. Mandala followed three rules throughout his life. Free yourself, free others, and serve every day. I hope we leave here, we will practice it with the one person who are close with. You will co it could be your boss, could be your parent, spouse, or your child. Plus, we go back to one experience, someone wrong you and you might try and still can't forget forgive totally but make a decision to forgive your emotion will catch up with your decisional forgiveness when god forgive us it like you enter a delete key on your computer god did not send it to recycling bin he simply deleted in your hard drive. We are his new creation. We can come to God, ask for reset. When we are able to forgive, we praise God. He taught us the truth of forgiveness. May we like the tree shaped by the wind of God's grace.
May our life could like a standard wood. When the axe cut the trunk, the tree spray the pleasing aroma. God have mercy on us, not to let us truly victim by our anger. I pray for everyone here, hear this message, would be wise to let God set you free, encourage, encourage, um, encourage that enough that we take step to set others and themselves free. Let's pray. God, how awesome you are. You set me free. There is no chain in my heart. Thank you, Lord. Thank you allowing some hard things in our life. As we are going through them, we ask you to teach us your grace. How many times you have forgiven us, O oh Lord, we thank you. Help us to be your peacemaker. Learn to forgive when there is hatred. We believe in your Son, Jesus Christ, die for our sins. We invite you to be our Lord of our life, our church, and our community. Send your Holy Spirit to help us to obedience and do your will. All God's people say, Amen. Amen.